and welcome back to my channel y'all today is such like a weird day I'm so excited and so sad at the same time um I'm starting like an ending of vlog at the same time either way um we are moving Penelope in to my barn at college today or like right now basically um we are just leaving the horse show that we were at and are headed back so let's go move pony in a little over a week since we moved Miss Penelope in and she is doing great it seems um as y'all saw in the video we had her on ulcer guard for like the first few days or so just to make sure that she was adjusting well um horses tend to develop ulcers and whatnot especially in high stress environments um and if any of you know Penelope or have gotten to know her over the years she is a very stressed horse in general um Knock on wood, 
she has no history of colic. She's never colicked with us. However, she will paw and weave and pace and is just a nervous wreck when we go just about anywhere. Um, she does not adjust to new situations and new scenarios and whatnot super well. Um, like I said, no history of ulcers, colic, anything like that. But that doesn't mean we weren't taking precautions just to be sure. Um, so she seems like she's doing well. She's making friends with the two little horses around her, which is great to see. I was a little bit nervous at first to see how she was going to adjust with the one pony next to her named Winter. Um, Winter's a little bit more... How, how do you say this? Um, she just took a little bit longer to get to be friends with Penelope. You know, she's putting her ears and whatnot during feeding times, especially. Um, and Penelope would kind of stick her head through the fence and winter maybe would try to bite her, but they're like best friends now. Penelope like screams and loses her marbles when winter is gone, which I have mixed feelings about. Hopefully winter's not going to shows anytime soon because her and Penelope are gonna be, um, at least Penelope is gonna lose her marbles when winter leaves at shows especially um and that's never fun to deal with in a competition environment but other than that she seems to be doing great we've had a lesson i'm actually taking her across country schooling this upcoming weekend um i've ridden her let's see she's been here nine days now and i think i've ridden her six or seven times so i made sure to give her a little bit of time off but i've gone out there I think every day but once, at least once a day since she's been here, um, she saw the vet so she got all caught up on everything, got floated for the year which is great. Um, I don't know, it's just like feels so much more real like when she is seeing the vet and when we are going to schooling and I'm preparing for things and um, I don't know, it's just been a lot of fun. The new barn has been a lot of new scenarios for her, like getting ready in a barn aisle. She was really spooky at the sound of her own hooves on the concrete at first, and it was doing this like slow motion walk, picking her knees up really high when she was stepping because she was so nervous about it. But um, I think that's just gonna come with time. There are so many little kids running around the barn, and our barn also hosted a show last weekend. So there was like tons of trailers coming in and out, lots of new horses, lots of people, which I think was a lot for her to take in, but that's exactly what she needs. Um, our barn back home was a lot more quiet, a big dirt lot, as you all saw. Um, so I think this new environment's been a lot for her to take in, but in the best way possible, she seems to be taking it well. And I think it's really gonna have an impact kind of on how she behaves as a horse just because she is going to be so much more used to a busy maybe more chaotic barn environment which is going to mimic and kind of prepare her for shows and whatnot a lot more than her always being in like such a safe comfortable quiet environment that she was back at um the barn back home so um, of course y'all will be updated. I have some vlogs already filmed and scheduled for y'all in the upcoming days of you guys so that you guys can see how she's adjusting um, some of my first rides and her whatnot. But um, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Bye.